my one Christmas. Oh, my work, Ben. <laughs> Is that who you work for? That's who I work for. So we are back with the classic Amy, I was about to say Callum, sorry. Henry and Amy oh. vlog. So Callum's in my head. Um, going shopping thing. again. Yep. But this time we're going to, you've seen us go to, what was it called? Clark's, not Clark's Village. We went Swindon Outlet. Swindon. But we went, saw like a tea fowl outlet. Uh, that was such a classic. Yep. Uh, Still love that. I don't know why I found it so funny. Did we, did we do it? Well, done Cabot. Yeah, we done Cabot. That was not too long ago. It was summer, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and now a bit of Christmas shop there. So we're going to Gloucester Keys. Oh wow, that sun is amazing in the back. Gloucester Keys, which is in Gloucester, evidently. Um, but we both haven't been here for years and years, so we don't really know what's there. But it's inside, so that's good. Looks yeah, like shocking. It's all right now, actually. It's pretty now, but I think it's supposed to rain later. Yeah. Henry hasn't done any Christmas shopping yet. I'm pretty much done, but I'm at that point where I can buy things if I see something nice for people. But I'll help you if you need help. But yeah, we're gonna see what it's like. We're gonna also get McDonald's breakfast this morning because we are hungry I'm AF. Hungover. Henry's hungover because him and Callum had three bottles of wine last night. Um, and yes, we're gonna go see what shops they have and see if it's worth going to. So come with us on our little Christmas shopping journey. So we've got here now. Henry's actually already bought something. Yeah, got me, got me wee me something. It's so cute as well. It's a little pink Adidas tracksuit, and it was twenty pounds. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was right. You have to show you just yeah, like that. So you're done this. I thought I was right. Yeah. That's so cute. Um, but yeah, we've just come here. It's it's quite nice. We've had breakfast as well, and this is. Uh, you want to go chat with? I don't shop in there much, but can yeah. we just have a look? Can you have a look. I don't. I'm not gonna buy for myself. I don't really know what. What is? Oh. Are you wearing my skirt? That skirt, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I can't remember you wearing a skirt ever. I rarely wear skirts. They just seem like effort. I don't know. You know when you just vibe with shops. I just don't vibe with the shop. Shit, old. Should we go? I want to. I really want to, but I'm not. What is that? I can't, I can't wear a jacket with the stigma of being like a fuck boy. Because it's such a fuck boy brand. Oh gosh. You're like, yeah, you've got your fuck boy jack wheels, like jumper on, and you drive a Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> a white one. Oh gosh. <laughs> a white special edition Corsa. <laughs> that's, <laughs> if that's, that's anybody fuck. watching this or anybody's boyfriend, I do apologise. Yeah, fuck boy for him for him. <laughs> Oh, um, so yeah, Henry's already been successful. We've had some breakfast. Oh my god, look at the dog, 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 so cute. That's another shop, isn't it? All Saints. It's just like, I don't go for that. It's expensive as well. Yeah, and The jeans are supposed to be good. All Saints has got that look about it where everything's wore out. And you know yeah. what? I, I throw out clothes because they wear out. Everything's yeah. beige. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is really confusing of where we should go because there was the Nike thing there. The Nike is in that entrance. Should we go there first? I don't know, I'm a, I, I, I don't know what all is around here. Neither do I. Let's go Nike first because I know yeah. thingies there. Um, yeah, so we're going to look in there now. I need to get mum. I want to try and get mum something in Nike. Hopefully if they've got something good. Oh, and the cosmetic company store. Yay! Yay, I can't Makeup. wait. Makeup. Oh, Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner. Yeah. Kendall Jenner's in the window. Is she the place or not? Oh wow. I think Kath Kidson, that's been a while. The what? Kath Kidson. It's like a little cute shop thing. <gasps> Extra 20% off when you purchase three or more products. Can't wait to buy some makeup. In it, just. Perfectly clean Estee Lauder. Um, three or more products are purchased. But what if I don't want three products? Then I don't get the discount. Great. Tom Ford. I literally don't need any more makeup, uh, any more anything really, but I don't need any more anything, Henry. Huh? I said I don't need any more anything, but I just can't help it. Yeah, but don't you need some SPF 40? I don't even know what that is. Sun Protection Factor 40. Is it? Yes. Hence why we have factors. More makeup. 
Makeup, makeup, makeup. Oh, Patrick Star collection. Oh, that's a cute one. I could see Mum using that. I could see Mum actually using that. It just seems a lot of money for one, th three little shadows. Okay, so Henry's just chatting on the phone, but um, so we've been shopping. I went to Cap Hidson and got some stuff. And I've basically, there's been a dilemma. I'll show it you when I get home, but I've got a new bed, so I had to get rid of my old bed frame. And I've had to leave it with Dad, so I put it on Facebook Marketplace for free. I was bombarded with messages. I have never used Facebook Marketplace before, so it was just hilarious. And um, I told people they need to come and collect it like today, this morning, because it's in our hallway, so I needed to get it out of the way. And so Dad's at home, so he had to deal with it. And he said that apparently these people were turning, they just turned up. They drove from Newport, which is like, like fairly far away, and. Um, they literally rushed over to get this bed frame that is broken by the way, my bed frame is broken but I put it up as broken, hence why I didn't list it, oh it's 11 11 make a wish, and <laughs> literally, they said they'd come over my, my headboard is huge, like it's really big, you'd have to strap it to the roof and they said they had to drive back on the motorway and they asked my dad for a roof rack and my dad was like, obviously I can't give you a roof rack and so my dad helped them with, they said they were there for about an hour he was just on the phone, pissing, like laughing to me, telling me this story and they've shoved all this thing into a tiny little like Clio car <laughs> and now they're driving back to Newport with my bed frame and it's just hilarious. I didn't, I asked for it, for, like it was free so it's not like I was asking for money for it or anything but um, there's a guy who's just giving me funny looks because I'm filming in the middle of a shopping centre but do you know what, I don't really care. So he's just told me that really funny story. So anyway, we've been shopping, Henry's got something for Arabella. Um, his niece. I've got a thing from Nan um, if you're here. I need to look out for my other Nan. We don't really know where we're going, but let's go. And I've just noticed the music's on, so I'm gonna have to go. I'll just turn this down a minute because we all know. Oh, did I turn it off? No, that's right. Oh, the sun! I can't believe it. You wouldn't know it's December, the, the whatever it is today. December? Near, near Christmas? Last week, well it's the weekend now, but next week is the last full working week before actually Christmas because Christmas falls on a Wednesday this year, Tuesday? Tuesday I think it is. Something like that, yeah. Uh, no, sorry, Wednesday. But we have now finished in Gloucester Keys. It was so small that we didn't really know what we were expecting, but we both bought one thing so I guess that made it kind of worth it. And we had breakfast so that was fine. But we're going to Cripps Causeway now, which again I don't think we've done in the vlog so that's fine. <laughs> Still entertaining. Um, and I think we're going to get sushi for lunch because I haven't had sushi in a long time. Saying that though, it's going to be bloody busy today, isn't it? Yeah. And sure. they've got they got a winter wonderland up there as well. Do they even have sushi in the Yeah, yeah, sushi. That's Cribs Causeway. That's um, Cabot Circus. No, it's not. They've got one in Cribs Causeway. Um, Cribs Causeway as well. Is it? There is one in Cabot Circus, but there's yeah. also one in Cribs Causeway. Oh, Perfect. So that'll be fine. If not, I can't even think what else is there. Sorry, this lighting is dreadful. Yeah. Last time we went at Gloucester was um, cheese rolling. Oh, that was so good for yeah. birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was stressful as fuck because you were driving. Oh yeah, the yeah. parking though as well. There's oh, nowhere to park. That walk. And the walk was long. Yeah. We, I want to do that properly one year though. You know, like actually go up in time, get a good spot. I want to do it. If you don't know what cheese rolling is and you're not from the UK or you're not from the Southwest, because I know a lot of you guys are from out of the country, out of England, just Google, just Google cheese rolling at Gloucester. Yeah, can you, can you imagine, I don't know, if anyone's watching this like around the world, like, cheese rolling, what the fuck is that? Throw a wheel of cheese down fucking hill and chase it. So it is. So in the West Country, we're considered like farmers, like, you know, whatever, back in the medieval yeah. days. It was one of these things the that they start. It is, no, back in the day, that's where it come from. Back in the day, it used to be entertainment. So there's one specific hill in Gloucester, in this small town. It's like a tiny little town in Gloucester. And this hill is so steep. And for some reason, some crazy young farmer boy, I think this is the story behind it, literally decided he had a roll of like, you know, you can get the big things of Parmesan, but in this case it's cheddar because it's near cheddar where they actually make cheddar cheese. Um, big roll of cheddar that he then just decided to 
chuck down this hill and run after and the competition is a whole run, row of people and they push that they let this cheese go and everyone races down to get it and when I say steep like I'm sure the pictures on Google won't even do it justice when you stand there it is like that it is yeah. so steep and people break legs they freaking dislocate things when and we, the, the, the winner of the competition gets to keep the cheese that's all it is <laughs> that's all when, um, <laughs> when we went that woman who won was it? she broke her fucking wrist she broke her wrist. It, what, you, yeah. you see people like bodies just tumbling. You can't run down it. You know it's it's far like, too it's steep. Like a, it's like a zombie film. It's like bodies just tumbling. It it's, is. It's like World War Z. It it's is. Insane. And it's so fun. But they do it in the, the bank holiday weekend in May. So usually it's really nice sunny weather. And it gets so busy up there. And it, like I said, it's just this tiny hill. Like this tiny steep bit of the hill on the side of the... I don't know the country it's so weird it's such a weird thing but that's why I love it and we went two years ago we didn't go last year because um, we were in the house last year for our birthday we rented a really nice house um, but I definitely want to go 2020 yeah give it a go are you, I, I, are you actually going to sign up for it I'd do it yeah fuck it what is it I, I'd make sure my work pays me sick day and then I'd go do it <laughs> oh god it does it looks it's so entertaining but I, i'd love to do it properly i'd not do it i'd love to go there properly i would not do it myself but people get dressed up as well we've seen people then what was the costume they were in was it like spongebob square pants or something i think someone was dressed as a chicken yeah there was like two of yeah. them i don't remember what it was i saw a video before of someone dressed as a mouse a mouse chasing the cheese oh that's yeah, good yeah, yeah. with like the oysters and everything yeah Anyway, it's a really big thing that actually people travel from all over, like, all over the country to come see. It's just the weirdest traditional thing that they just do. But like I said, there's no money involved. You don't pay to enter. You don't pay. If, you don't get paid if you win. You just get this thing of cheese. <laughs> it's just brilliant. And they get the local Gloucester rugby team to come and be at the bottom oh, yeah. to rugby tackle you Fucking to stop hell. you. You remember that guy? Like, what is it? He'd been bashed about, fallen down the hill, and then he got fucking rugby tackled. Rugby tackled. Tackle. Tackle. They've got the rugby team all standing at the bottom of this hill because people, because it's so steep, people can't stop even though you get to the bottom. You remember last year, that when we went, that, that rugby player hurt himself, then he tackled himself. Yeah, his shoulder. He, he, fucked shoulder up, he yeah. really did fuck his shoulder up. And it, but it's just the coolest thing. So just go on YouTube or Google and just type it in. I want to go next year, so I will try and film that day if we go. But it is awesome. I think it's also on my Instagram highlights. So under my life section, I think it's still there. I love look at that. Anyway, we're on our way to Cribs Causeway. Um, do a little bit more Christmas shopping and get some lunch. And then we're going to head back because Henry is going to get Callum from work at 3 o'clock. And they're babysitting Henry's little niece tonight. So they're having a little family night in, cooking some tea. I can't fucking wait. Looking after a baby. Yeah. I do. Anyway, we'll see you at Crimps. Oh my gosh, look, there's a ramen bowl and then bees. I can't film for long because of the music. And avocado on toast. I might need to get one of these. Dehydrated, I think. Henry and I have come for sushi. We've got the little, got the little conveyor belt. Looking at his sushi options. Yeah, this is like aubergine. It's really nice. So the, the cheapest ones are the green bowls, then it's the blue bowls, but they're still... Yeah. Yum, I'm gonna try this. You're gonna try aubergine? Yeah. Yum. What? Do you see what, um, yeah, you put that photo up with me. Yeah. I put, still in two minds if I should buy it. Sam Grant commented, both of those minds should be saying no. <laughs> So we've had food, we've been fed, we had our sushi, and now Henry wants to look at the Rolexes and the Goldsmith and the Breitling, sorry, Breitlings, Breitlings, Breitling, how do you say it? Breitling. Breitling, just spelled weird. So here we go. Henry in his natural habitat. Me in my natural habitat. Oh, they're beautiful. Anyone you want? Super Ocean Heritage. Huh? Super Ocean Heritage. Thir three, oh, I thought I said 38 grand, 33 grand. That's gorgeous, though. See, I'm more of a 
I'm more of that small thin gold one that's 18,900. Eight grand? Yeah. Oregon. Get yeah. I'll get some more. Or, I don't. I don't really like mixed metal, so I don't really like that. How it's silver and gold. I don't like silver and gold. One or the other. Yeah, I quite like that little thin gold one. That's pretty. Oh, Henry, look at that. You need this one. That's quite cool with the blue around it. My favourite Rolex though is the Daytona. Yeah. My favourite Rolex is the Daytona though. It's not the yacht master. I thought you could buy a fucking yacht for that. I need to go to Superdrug. Where do you need to go? Or do you need to look in boots? Anything in there for your family? No, no. So, uh, chili cheese. What? Where? Right there. I don't. It's, oh. Oh my gosh. Little some chili cheese. No. I don't care. I'm just eating it. Oh. It's busy. Oh, you can taste it. For free. You've had chili cheese though. I love chili cheese. Oh, it's like. Oh, Tesla. Get you a new Tesla? That's nice, mind. I like that one. I don't one. I want a Tesla. Maybe that's your next car. Yeah, I think a Tesla's a very expensive, aren't they? Probably like 30 grand. Maybe. It's not, well, new. Yeah, that's not bad. I bad it's cool, is it? Tag here next. Tag where? Tag here. Sure. Your. Bristolian version. Tag your. I got one of these tags. I don't really know where we're gonna go now, but I need to go super drug, I think. Super drug for some makeup for Nam. Okay, I can't talk long because of the song, but this line from Superdrug is one of my favourites. It's really, really good, the vitamin E line. And I also want to try this one too. It's buy one, get one half price, so I'm going to get a couple. <sighs> Thank goodness. I have to have a quick run. I cannot oh even tell you how bad Ermi's delivery is. Oh my goodness. Uh, they are causing me so much stress. I sell stuff online and I send it Hermes because it's like more valuable stuff. And the tr honestly, it is so bad. Yeah, Hermes is really good for drug trafficking. <laughs> it's so bad. I actually want to cry. It's caused me like this thing I sent oh, ages ago. No, maybe like over a week ago. And it's supposed to be three to five day delivery. And it's only going to like rugby. Rugby. South End, no, South End on Sea. Is that what it's called? South End. South End. On sea? South End. Look, yeah. That ain't boy rugby, mate. I don't know where it is, but it's South End. No, rugby's their sorting centre. Sorry. South End on Sea, and it's still like it says it out for delivery today. Getting delivered between twelve and two o'clock. It is now twelve twenty-eight, and it is not delivered. This person has opened a case against me on eBay as well. Nothing to do with me, not my fault. I sent it in the right time. You're fucking shit. Isn't it? I sent it in the right time, but now Hermes is gonna lose me money. They, they better deliver it today, seriously. Did I? And, and you know what, sorry, and they have taken off. I went on the website to contact them. They have turned off their live chat. It takes you to a chat bot. They're, they have taken the phone number off their website for customer services. They've removed their email. Their Twitter DM has been disabled. They have, they, they said if there's anything wrong with your parcels, um, sorry there's gonna be a backlog since Black Friday, but please contact your retailer. No member of the public can contact them. They're, I'm boycotting Hermes after this, Soz. Uh, remember, um... Home sense! We need to go in there, can I go in there? Please, 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 please. No, I gotta go. Please, please, please. Only one shop. I gotta go back to Bristol. No, we gotta have, we still have half an hour. Please. No. Please. No. There's I a, need to go. There's a home sense over by Thingy. In um, Hingrove. Yeah. No, but we're just Calm here. Down. Calm down. We're just here. It's not happening. Please. It right happen. underneath the Bristol suspension bridge. Oh, that view is amazing. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! I'm so happy I'm home! Henry has gone off to pick Callum up from work. I have just got back. No one's home, but I've just sort of gone through and I'm tidying up and stuff like that. Um, ah. Oh, that was a nice little day. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I didn't get much, but I know y'all like to see it. So... I don't know, I never know a good place to put your, there we go, put you there and move the mirror because that's 
not flattering and you can see the camera. So I got, first place we went to was in Gloucester Keys, like said. Um, there was not that much there, like we went, they had a cosmetic company shop and everything, but I didn't see anything good that I liked. The cosmetic company shop is the one that sells like all Estee Lauder brands, but I just didn't see anything I liked. But they did have a Kath Kidson, and I like Kath Kidson, um, so I went in and I thought I'll have a look, but it, it was all outlets, obviously the prices were all outlet priced. And I noticed the other day when I was at Nan, Nan Lorenza's, who you always see on the vlog, my Nan, um, that she doesn't actually have an oven glove. So I seen this in Kath Kidson and I thought she'd really like it. And it's just a foldable oven glove with loads of illustrations of like onions and flowers and radishes and stuff. But it should be £16 and it was £9. So I thought that was really, really cute. Um, and it's got all the prices on it. Orig yeah, it was originally £16, wow. And then I also got, um, I don't know whether I was gonna give this to her or keep it for us, but I just liked it. It was a tea towel that was £8 that was now three. And it's just got the classic Kath Kidson cherry blossom print on it. So we'll probably keep that to be honest because I don't know, the oven glove's fine for Nan, she didn't. I buy her tea towels all the time. And it's a super cute little Kath Kidson bag. I'll probably just wrap it up in this bag actually it's got the Kath Kidson logo on it. Um, so that's all we got at Gloucester Keys. There honestly wasn't a lot of shops at all. I would literally say there was about under 50 shops there, maybe even under 40 shops. There wasn't a lot at all. Um, but it was still nice to have a change of scenery because living in Bristol, we only have like Cabot Circus and the Mall at Cribs Causeway where you've seen us just now, which are like near us. We were gonna go to Swindon like you've seen before in our vlogs, in my vlog, sorry, are mine. Um, but we've, I don't know, it's a bit too far. We were gonna go Gloucester then there and it's just a, a lot to travel. Um, so we ended up going to Cribs Causeway as it was on the way home. Henry got some stuff in there anyway. And they've got a new typo shop. I love typo because it's, Reminds me of Australia. I know, I think it's an Australian shop. It's, isn't it the same brand as Cotton On? I can't remember. But I love all their cute stuff in there. And to be honest, it always makes me think of Rain, my best friend, um, so who lives in Australia. So when I went in there, it was insane. The whole shop was 40% off and then odd other bits, like such like travel and earphones, I think, were 50% off everything. And it's actually usually in the UK, I find typo way too expensive. So I nearly didn't even walk in because I was like, oh, it's so expensive. And then I seen the big 40% off sign and I was, I sort of almost walked past. Cause you know, you see those signs and you're, it says 40% off, but it's not really 40% off. And you go in and like two things are 40% off, but this whole shop was. So I was buzzing. So I got two of these notebooks because I was just obsessed with them. So one is a Christmas present and one is for me. And it is this, a4 notebook that has got sushi all over it. It says, just roll with it. Like, roll sushi. I absolutely adored this. So this is meant, this is £3.50, full price. So it was, I don't even know, half that. Literally two, two pounds, under two pounds. And it's just a lined pad. Like, everybody needs pads. Um, I don't know what this front page is about. Oh, it's a little pocket. That's cute, so you can keep documents in it. But, um, office work you always need pads and I know that Steph would really appreciate that so I got one for Steph and one for me because I just I am such a sucker for prints like I do not need a book I don't need an A4 book but because it had the sushi print I wanted it so that's how it works and then just to put with that which I'm going to wrap up to go with Steph's Christmas present I got this little sticker pack um and it's avocados and it's just loads of different avocado things and it's three pages of it um, and this was £2.50. A little bit overpriced for three, like, three sticker things, but it's got little, like, reminder stickers and stuff, so I thought, if nothing else, she can use that with the book, so I'll just wrap that up together, because she likes Typo. And then the last little thing I got is just for our fridge downstairs. I love the Typo fridge magnets. I'm such a su sucker for them. There were so many I could have bought, but they are £2.50 each, which I guess for a fridge magnet is, like, why do you need it? But... <laughs> I loved this magnet. It says Carboholics Anonymous and it's got pasta on it. And honestly, we are such a family of carb lovers. So I was like, this has got to go on the fridge. So it was only £2.50, so I got that. 
Um, and then I was looking out for some presents, obviously I'm constantly looking out for presents, went into a uh, super drug and there just wasn't like the gift sets, like I just think they're so overpriced and gift sets, they really aren't worth it. So I didn't see anything I liked, but I've just literally finished my Garnier Micellar Water, the huge one. I always use that. Um, but I've seen this that I've wanted to try, and it's the Nivea, Nivea? Nivea Micellar Skin Breathe Professional Makeup Remover. Um, oh no, is this makeup remover? Yeah, Micellar. Yeah, so it's Micellar Water. Okay, that's good. That's what I thought. I got confused. This was on a third off, I think. I don't remember how much it was, but if you, I don't know if you can see, but it's an oil and water formula that you mix up. Um, but I'm just really curious to try this, so I thought I'd try this instead of my Garnier, which I use all the time. I'm probably going to need both, but this is supposed to remove waterproof makeup. Formulated with dry oil, removes long-lasting makeup, no rubbing, no perfume, and they're supposed to be like a no residue left which is what I liked about this because I can't stand oily products that leave your skin oily so yeah and I like the black bottle so I think this was literally like under three pounds for this 400 mil so I actually needed that because I've run out of my cleanser um my micellar water sorry so yes that is everything that I got when I was shopping obviously as you see me and Henry went for yo sushi which was awesome um, so we had sushi, we shared some stuff there. For breakfast I had this awesome like croissant with cheese and spring onions in it. It was beautiful. I bought that for Henry to say thank you for driving. He had a bacon sandwich um, and we had coffees. This, I forgot to film that in the morning. But yeah, so now it is currently half three and I am going to continue sorting out my room. I can't wait to show you. So my bed is here. This is my new bed. So I was telling you the story about those people came to collect my bed frame, but that's because I now have a new bed and I have to show you guys. I am so happy that I made this choice. Like, I can't even tell you. Let me show you. Okay, so this is my new bed. Now, I appreciate it doesn't look like much. This mattress is an old mattress as well. That's why it's hanging over the edge because it's the wrong size. I've got my new mattress decompressing downstairs that I got from Ikea last week. Um, but this is the bed right here. So it's just got gray paneling. It's a lot, it's a lot higher than my last one. So I'm actually up higher, which I prefer. Um, it's just plain green panel, plap, gray, green, gray paneling. Um, and it's this nice, just soft material. Um, but it's a really flush. And then the headboard is the same. So it's just gray paneling like that. This is my body pillow, so you can't really see it. But honestly, my life has changed because this is a ottoman bed. So I can actually store stuff underneath, guys. Oh my God, my life has completely changed. I have so much room for stuff. It is awesome. I, I will literally show you right now. I started sorting this yesterday. As you can see, I've got a ton of room still. There's so much. My filming stuff I can put under here because it's so easy to get. My Gucci shoes, stuff I'm selling. I we need to show you guys this. I bought this the other day. How crazy is this? Primark Monopoly. I still haven't decided if I'm keeping it yet or not because I don't know if I need it, but it was £18 and I bought it. Um, but yeah, my life has just completely changed. I got this bed on Black Friday from beds.co.uk and I... I'm never, ever, ever, ever going back to a bed that's not a bit ottoman. This was the best financial decision I ever made to buy. And it wasn't even expensive, literally. I am so happy. I don't want to fill it up under the bed because I want there to be room. But, like, this is my, like, overnight bag that I use all the time. So that comes in and out. I've got new hangers. Just things that didn't have a space, you know. Um, this is my big dressing gown. My going out bags that I need handy. The rest of my bags are up in the cupboard. Um, it's just, it's just life changing, completely life changing, um, and I, I'm so buzzing about it, but I need to sort through these wardrobes still a bit more, I want to have a clear out, I want to get rid of some other clothes, because these drawers are overflowing, and I can really put more of it in here, which is what I want to do, because they're bursting at the seams, so I'm going to also put some more stuff in here, but honestly guys, I don't know how I didn't do without this before, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, it's awesome. I've got a new mattress as well, so this is the old one. Um, but that's downstairs, like I said, decompressing. But yeah, I am so happy. Right, 
I am going to go make a cup of tea because I am desperate for one and I totally forgot. Good evening guys, it is a couple of days later than after you're seeing this, I just wanted to wrap up the vlogs because I don't think I finished it. Um, thank you so much for watching, I hope this has been a little bit of a Christmassy video, I am so sorry that the vlogs have been just not here. <laughs> um, Christmas I wish I could film more content and I don't know why I have, just no excuses. So you've got this vlog here which I hope was nice and Christmassy for you and then I will be uploading another vlog that's actually from the past next and then I'm going to be filming tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get this back on track. But yes, enjoy um, your day guys, evening, night, whatever you're doing. I have got a stiff neck today because I pulled it yesterday in my gym photo shoot. Oh, and it hurt a lot. And I'm looking a mess, so I'm going to leave you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you sooner. And yeah, stay beautiful guys. Ciao!